look at just how massive this system is. It stretches from Missouri to Illinois, Indiana, all the way through Ohio into West Virginia. And although part of the Buckeye State will be seeing some freezing rain potential, we here at home could see a few of those impacts. Take a look at these alerts across the country. Freezing rain advisory in place for much of the Buckeye State and here at home. We do have a winter weather advisory in place for Columbiana County. That's until 4 o'clock this afternoon. Although we're certainly not going to see the brunt of this storm, we could feel a few of the impacts with a little bit of freezing rain and some snow, which could cause some slick road conditions. Here's a current look at what's going on as you're waking up on your Saturday morning. I am tracking light snow showers, uh, more moderate snowfall into portions of Columbiana County to start this morning. For much of the valley, we've got cloudy skies and cold temperatures. Temperatures across the board, mid to upper 20s. The good news, winds are calm, so we don't have wind chills to worry about as we're starting our day. Let's take this hour by hour. I'll show you who's going to see some potentially wintry mix and some snow. As we go through the morning, cloudy skies, and we do have the potential for a little bit of freezing rain, a wintry mix, and snow showers. I think most of this activity will stay south into Columbia County. Portions of southern Mahoning County and Lawrence County may see some of this, but Trumbull County, Mercer County, I think your chances are pretty slim. As we go through the morning, even into the afternoon, the freezing rain potential is there. Temperatures right around that freezing point. And although I don't think we're going to see a lot of snow or a lot of freezing rain, again, the potential is there for slick conditions. Freezing rain uh, could cause some icy conditions out on the roads. All of this will wrap up as we go through the evening. Again, that advisory expires at 4 o'clock. I think we'll start to see those cloudy skies take over as we go into the evening. And we'll stay dry as we wrap up the night. Some icy spots are certainly possible uh, for those of you who did see snow and potentially a wintry mix. But we'll be dry to start the day on Sunday. Temperatures into the mid-20s. And we'll see some sunshine as we go through the second half of the weekend. A cold start, but temperatures, they'll climb back up into the mid and even upper 30s into Sunday afternoon. And take a look at this. You may need those sunglasses into Sunday afternoon. Partly sunny skies are expected to wrap up the weekend. So here's what you need to know today. Again, that chance for a wintry mix and snow, mainly south. Otherwise, cloudy skies across the valley. Temperatures topping out into the mid 30s. Tonight, mostly cloudy skies staying dry. Temperatures falling back to the lower 20s. Some slick spots are possible tonight as we have the uh, leftover moisture from the potential snow today. Partly sunny tomorrow. Tomorrow, temperatures into the upper 30s. What a great way to wrap up the weekend. And mild temperatures are in store as we start the work week. Monday, highs will be into the lower 40s. We do have the chance for rain showers to start the work week. Rain showers likely it will be a breezy day, and rain could be moderate on Tuesday as temperatures climb into the lower 50s. Temperatures stay well above average. In fact, 20 degrees above average as we go through the second half of the week with highs into the upper 40s Wednesday, Thursday, and heading into the weekend. Temperatures are back into the 50s, so a very mild January week ahead of us.